that the people of Rwanda really appreciated the gesture from the people and the government of Kenya of standing with that family. And incidentally, Mukewe Kocha Hakizimana ni mtoto wa hapa Chepkorio, Joan ana Joan Chelima anatoka hapa Chepkorio ambaye sasa ni mjane na tumetoa msaada maalum kama serikali kusaidia familia hiyo. Let me also add that uh, there is a very deliberate effort that government is doing to support our sportsmen and women in terms of facilities and I've had a lot of talk here about facilities and infrastructure. Your Excellency, again, with your guidance, we are already working on a lot of these facilities. We have advertised the construction of Camarine Stadium to international standards, and we are at the tail end to start that project. Alongside Camarine, we will also, we'll also be upgrading E10 grounds. And in honor of uh, our fallen hero, I see no reason why we cannot add these Chepkorio grounds to that project which is already progressing. And in this whole region, which is really our talent belt, all the way from South Rift, from Bomet, through Kericho, to Wasingishu, to Nandi, El Marakwet, West Pokot, this whole region, we are being very deliberate, Your Excellency, in investing in upgrading of facilities. We already have a project to upgrade Kipchoge Keino Stadium, which in fact is one of our target host cities for the Africa Cup of Nations in 2027. We have already advertised the construction of Kipchoge Keino Stadium in Nandi County. Our eyes are on Kapkatet grounds in Kericho County. Our eyes are on Bomet Stadium in Bomet County. And so this whole athletics talent belt is very much fully catered for in our infrastructure development program. That I want to assure you here. We have also included this region in the special program of setting up training centers. Your Excellency, we have set up 42 athletics training centers countrywide. And this Elgeo Marakwet County has three of those 42. Kaimoi Secondary School, Kapkenda Girls, and uh, Chewot Boys. All those are centers among those 42. And we have now added St. Patrick E10 as a special elite training center. And so even in terms of centers and, um, and academies, we are very much on top of that agenda. Finally, Your Excellency, let me also clarify and assure our athletes that we genuinely love and care for you as our athletes. Tunawajali sana. Tunawajali kwa sababu, you are the goose that lays the golden egg. I love to say that Kenya's number one export to the world is not tea, is not coffee, is not tourism. Kenya's top export to the world are these great sportsmen and women. You are the people who brand this country in terms that we cannot even quantify. And that is why we have taken some very, very strong measures. Number one, we have improved the reward scheme. Now we are rewarding you at a much, much higher level. Number two, we have worked with Athletics Kenya to introduce an endowment fund. And the ministry has donated 20 million Kenya shillings, Your Excellency, to activate an endowment fund to support our athletes in retirement. And we have invited the private sector to work with us to support that endowment fund. Number three, we have initiated together with Athletics Kenya a pension scheme. A pension scheme where our athletes can save voluntarily while active and can draw from that while in retirement. We have also partnered with Athletics Kenya and Housing Finance to start a special package, a special product for you to fully benefit from the affordable housing program. And finally, we have introduced a program working together with our banks, Kenya Commercial Bank, uh, National Bank of Kenya, and Cooperative Bank on financial literacy to help our athletes 
to manage their finances better, to invest their resources better, so that while the sun shines, you can keep some hay for when it rains. And so I believe that we are doing well. I want to invite all of us to support all these programs. I want to invite partners like Golazo, like Nike. We appreciate the work you are doing to help us develop athletics. We want to invite you to work with government to support all these programs so that we can fully support our athletes. Now, hakikishia wana riadha wetu. Na wana sporti wetu kwa jumla. Ya kwamba serikali ya William Samuel Ruto inania, ina azma, ina wezo wa kuinua hali yenu. And we shall not spare any effort in making sure that we continue in improving your circumstances. Poleni sana kwa kumpoteza mwenzenu watu wa Chepsamo, Chepkorio, Elgeo Marakwet, poleni sana mutio mutio missing. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, let me conclude by saying that all the resources due to Kelvin and the ministry is being very deliberate in documenting anything that was due to Kiptum. Due from government, due from agents, due from endorsements, due from management, we shall pursue every single coin and make sure it is put together to the benefit of this family. Your Excellence, I give that assurance. Na ni kushukuru mashimua rice in a record seven days we have been able to put up a home, two houses, both three bedroom, one three bedroom house for Asanath and her children, Caleb and Precious, and another three bedroom house for Mze Cheruyot and Mama Mary Kangongo. And that is support from government and we will continue to stand with this family. It is now my honor and privilege, Ninaposema Kwaheri, to a boy who has been like a son to me, a boy who really I had a lot of faith in. I was looking forward to keep to him shattering the two-hour ceiling in the marathon and for him to take a bow in the Olympics this summer in Paris. As I say, Kwaheri, Nasema Pole Sana, Natutasmama, na family. Let me now take this opportunity to invite His Excellency, our Prime Cabinet Secretary, to deliver his message of condolence. Asante sana, Kongoi missing.